Well, Tuesday marks the start of Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and the Interval House provides services to nearly 250,000 victims in our state. Joining us this morning is their CEO and president, Mary Jane Foster. Mary Jane, thanks for being here this morning. Thank you for having me. We were just saying you had a calm weekend, but it's the calm before the storm. <laughs> that is October, obviously, being the Awareness right. Month. You have so much that's going on. Tell folks a little bit about the work that you do. Well, Interval House is the state's largest domestic violence agency because we service Hartford and the surrounding 23 towns and cities. So we see the most calls to our hotline. We handle the most cases in the criminal and civil courts. We have the largest state, or excuse me, safe house. Um, so we're very, very busy. We work with direct service, uh, close to 5,000 clients uh, a year. Wow. It's hard to imagine, but in the little teeny tiny state of Connecticut, there were in 2018, 38,000 cases of domestic violence reported. Incredible. Reported. So it just makes you think that there's probably someone you know who's struggling and you may not even know it. Absolutely. What should people be looking out for? Are there warning signs that people can typically look there are, for? There are very typical warning signs. The domestic violence is really about a, a set of behaviors that are all about control. So if you suddenly find that your friends or relatives um, are a friend or a relative is uh, uh, distant, is being alienated, um, not able to participate in family affairs or outings, uh, if there are obviously signs of bruises or intimidation or control, um, just be there. Just make sure that you can say, are you okay? Is there anything I can do to be of help? The most important thing is to not be judgmental. Um, too often we shame victims by saying, well, why are you staying? Uh, why don't you leave? It's not easy to leave and it's not always safe to leave. Mm. And you guys do a lot of work, obviously, to help those get back on their feet, but you also do a lot of fundraising efforts and just ways to raise awareness and to just keep what you're doing alive mm -hmm. and well. And you have a lot of those events coming up. What are some we, of those? We do. Actually, this month is the 30th anniversary of Domestic Violence Awareness Month. So we are going to kick it off next weekend with a domestic violence awareness walk. Um, it is Sunday at 10 o'clock at St. Joseph's. And if you go to our website, you can sign up to join us. We're, um, I'm happy to say, out of T-shirts because we've had so many people well, sign up. Well, that's a good problem to have. That's a wonderful problem to have. And then on the 17th, we're going to celebrate our men's advisory group. Um, number of Fox people in that group, I'm proud to say. Uh, we will be um, celebrating them at the Riverview in Simsbury at breakfast at 7.30 in the morning. You can sign up for that on our website as well, wow. intervalhousect.org. Well, of course, we're going to have all that information posted at fox61.com. So I thank Great. you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. And I hope it. all those events go well. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will.